Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. It is Friday, so it is time for our menu plan, and I do have a small Aldi haul to share with you. If you can hear all that noise in the background, and if you saw my vlogs on Tuesday and Thursday, you know what it is. So we are just struggling to get through this weekend with these fans and all this. The fans can go away on Sunday, so yeah. No one's liking it. Not the animals, not us, but anyway, that's beside the fact. We'll get through it. Let's talk about the menu. Um, this week's getting a little bit messed up. We were supposed to go away next weekend down to the Mount to see Adam run in championships, but his season is over because of his injury. He decided not to push it because he would rather let it heal completely, him and the coach, and have a great senior season than risk, you know, injuring it more. So fingers crossed that it all heals, which I really do think it will, um, you know, with rest and time and PT and all that. So he has um, like a tendonitis in the back of his knee is what the problem is. Um, possibly like a, what did, I forget what they called it. Anyway, neither here nor there. We're here for the menu, but I am just, my head is so scattered with this noise in the house. I've talked about how my anxiety gets elevated when there's messes and chaos and all. And that's what I was worried about with these repairs. That's not bothering me, but this noise, it just grates on your nerves. It is constantly in your head. I mean, there are like 12 fans on three different levels of our home, so it's bad. So I had to switch up the menu a little bit this week because of not going away and things like that. So it's not a very, and you know, you know I struggle with lunch. We eat the same breakfasts every week and I struggle with lunch, so... It was, it was a tough one this week, just be, between not being able to concentrate because of all the noise and just feeling kind of meh. But I think I pulled it out. I think we're going to be okay. So I'm going to turn you around. I'm going to show you what we are eating for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner next week, hopefully. And I'll add that little Aldi haul right in after the menu. Okay, so on Sunday, I'm going to attempt to do pancakes. And I say attempt because Sunday morning's a little bit crazy. I have some things I have to do at 9.30 mass in the morning. And Doug has to sing solo at 11.30. So we're really not going to be home at the same time to eat. So we're going to see how that plays out. We never eat lunch on Sunday because we eat breakfast later. And dinner is a new recipe. It's Dijon mushroom beef. And I'm going to serve that over egg noodles with a vegetable. Monday, egg, sausage, and toast for breakfast. And then a picky plate for lunch. And then dinner is going to be country French skillet served with just some little uh, buttered new potatoes and a vegetable. Tuesday, oatmeal with blueberries. I have lots of blueberries in the freezer I still need to use up. Lunch is going to be a barbecue chicken flatbread. I've really been enjoying those. Dinner is sour cream chicken over rice with a vegetable. Wednesday, just doing cereal for breakfast. And then lunch is going to be tuna with crackers and vegetables and fruit. And dinner, we're doing Chinese takeout. I have two doctor's appointments Wednesday night back to back. I'm not going to be here to cook. So we are just going to get Chinese takeout on the way home. Thursday, breakfast sandwich, and then another picky plate for lunch. It's my favorite, favorite lunch of all time. And dinner is going to be Salisbury steak with mashed potatoes and a vegetable. Friday, we're going to do French toast casseroles, the single serve served with syrup. Salads for lunch and then dinner because it is Cinco de Mayo. We're going to have tacos and guac and chips. Saturday now, since we'll be home, we're going to do omelets with bacon in the morning for breakfast. Lunch is going to be a clean out the fridge day. And then dinner is chicken Italiano sandwiches, macaroni salad, and another side. I haven't decided yet. It is pinochle night at our house, so... 
that is what we are having. Um, this week, I don't write anything down, but I, you know, just like I do every week, I need to make bread, I need to make cra actually, I'll probably be okay on bread. I need to make crackers, I need to make bagels. And I think I wanna make some kind of banana muffins this week, we'll see. So, that is our week. Hopefully it will go as planned, but you never know with everything going on around here. Let's show you what I got at Aldi. Okay, here is our Aldi haul. I picked up a cucumber, some celery, avocados, some baby spinach, a watermelon, which probably is not gonna be great, but I needed it. I had to have it in my life. Some grapes, mushrooms, blackberries, cilantro, my favorite chopped salad kit, a bunch of lemons and limes, and that was it for produce. And I grabbed some peas. I had no idea Andrew liked peas, and he says he does, so I grabbed some peas. I grabbed some broccoli and some corn. I like to have these in the freezer for a quick side dish if I don't have fresh veggies. I picked up two cans of mushrooms, um, just in case I don't have fresh mushrooms. I like to keep a couple cans on hand because you can kind of saute them up in a little bit of butter and onion and make them not taste bad, especially if they're going in a dish. Picked up a cottage cheese that is for egg bites. Picked up five cans of tuna, we're completely out. I thought I had some butcher box cocktail franks, but I couldn't be sure, so I picked these up. I'm not thrilled with them, but they'll work. It's for a snack night, and on snack night, rules don't apply. Picked up pepperoni and cheese for poker night, and that's all part of the snack night. Picked up some kibasi for a recipe, because I'm not gonna get to the Polish deli to get really good kibasi, so I just grabbed this. Grabbed some bags. I don't love using these. Um, I like my reusable bags. I have ones from WW, and I also have other ones that are silicone, but I just don't have enough, and sometimes you just need these. So picked up one of each kind because I am completely out. Also grabbed some of their kosher dill spears. These are really delicious. Two cans of sweetened condensed milk. That is for a pie I'm making, and a box of Triscuit. So that is it for my Aldi haul. 95 bucks for this. Prices are just cray cray. So friends, that is it. That is what we are eating this week to stay on track, to fuel our bodies and to nourish our bodies. As always, the recipes will be up on my website, jonespointedplate.com. Please go check that out. And if you would like a blank copy of this menu planner or any other ones I have, they are all on my website under the free printables tab. So go check those out. Print out as many as you want. Absolutely free. I enjoy making them and sharing them with you. So that is it, my friends. That is all I have for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you know someone who could benefit by some new recipes or some meal planning, please feel free to share it. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you're making this week. Let me know what you are looking most forward to this week. I think I'm looking most forward to the Dijon mushroom beef um, because it's new. So, And I planned it so long ago, I kind of forget what it even is. So I'll have to go back and look at the recipe. So just let me know. And that is it. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day to spend it with me. I'll leave a couple old menu plans right here so you can go check out. And not sure if I'm having a weekend vlog or not yet because I don't know what's going to be going on with my house. So we will see. But I will see you in my next video.